Hello. We have a lot planned today and I'm just waiting for Russ. He's going to help me put a, I think it's a five tier growing. I don't know what you, what do you call it? I don't know what you call it, but you'll see. You come up with a name. So I'm just waiting for him and we'll show you what we got. It's pretty cool. Well, I'm still waiting for him. So I went upstairs and grabbed some items like the lettuce that we can plant in our greenhouse because it's not, we hope it's not going to freeze anymore here at night. Um, as long as it doesn't get like really cold. Oh, I'm already dirty. Um, but the salad blend oop, from Baker's Creek, it doesn't look like it really worked. I don't know what happened. So I want to just put them in some tubs. Hopefully we have enough dirt. Um, we'll see. Because I want to get this tiered thing planted first. Alright. Oh, I saw him. Maybe he's ready. Alright. What is this? Five, two, one. What? What's it called? Vertical planter. It's a vertical planter. I'm wondering if we could fill just the parts and put it over there. Do what? Fill just each piece and put it together in the greenhouse? Probably. Or, well, we're going to wheelbarrow it down, right? Yeah. That's good enough. This is the top. And how do you know it's the top? Because it's got the water levels in it. So, you can see, ooh, that bird on the side, I don't see these? So, if you only water, so we got a five tier. So if you water up to the three, it'll water the bottom three, then the four, and then the five. So I like this brand because some of the vertical ones don't have the watering part up here. You just water through a hole, but this will tell you, and it'll like self-water itself. You know when you've had enough. And it's a six. Oh, it's a six. Oh, good. Then we got enough strawberries. Because that back side isn't together. This, right, right here. Yeah, no, neither is this. Well, that's alright. We'll show them. So we didn't put the water trays in between each, but and then they have holes, see? So yes, this holds the water, but then it'll in the holes. There's little holes. They got the little holes. Alright. So then let's see the bottom. So these nestle right here. Okay, so each of these will nestle over two of these. Well, here. I think that's it. Mm -hmm. it doesn't go down any lower. Right? Or does it? Nope. Okay. Oh, it looks like it should go down more. Oh. Lift it up once. No, I guess that's right. My bad. It does. It fits in there. Oh, should that be down lower? I don't, it can only go so far. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's better. 
That's it. And add the weight of the dirt in there and yep. everything. And then this goes on top. So this is actually. There you go. Like that. So this is actually where you put the water. You fill this tray. Now you can't see. You fill this tray up to those lines. And then it'll drip through the holes, these holes. And then it'll just, yep. All right, we well, gotta start planting. All right, so what we did, because all of them have holes, it doesn't matter, holes on the bottom, like that. So it doesn't matter which one is the bottom one. And we put them on bricks on the bot under it. I guess you can't see it. I got them on bricks just to keep it off the ground a little bit. They do sell um, a piece that has wheels on it, but I didn't want I didn't want the wheels to get wrecked on this right here. So we can buy that at a later time if we need it. And then we have some leftover rocks. And I'm going to help on the first one for drainage, but then to give it weight so it doesn't tip over. I don't think this will tip over, but it all anything helps with drainage. All right, get this out of the way. Oh my god! And then we'll show you the peat moss. Let me show you the peat moss. We've got a 47 pounds of peat moss to mix with our dirt that we went and got in the back of the pickup. Uh, there's a place where you get free compost dirt, so that's what we did. And I'm sure we'll have to make more trips, but free is great. All right, so we're going to start filling. He's going to go get me some dirt, and we'll begin. And then I'm not sure what we're doing on the bottom ones, but on the top ones we're doing strawberries. Okay, so now... We might as well just mix it, the peat moss. Are we able to get that over the hill? Oh. Or no? Probably not, right? Yeah. One more. Because mm, we only really need it to get to the started pushing outward. I don't know why, but it did. So anyway, 
I'm going to, we actually luckily have six strawberry plants. So I'm going to put the strawberry plants on top. And then I'd like to, because then they can drape down. And then I'd like to put some lettuce in here because it's ready to go. And the, um, I'm going to try, because we already have some already nice big lettuce we can put in here. And then I'm debating of putting peppers in here, but we have a layout for these, so we're going to look at that layout first. But right now I'm going to do the strawberries. Okay. filling up a layer and putting it on but I don't think I'll have this these are just big items I think that I'm putting in here now you know what I mean so it's the thing about free compost you don't know what you're always getting we'll have to add more dirt on that side nice looking plants yeah, they are actually. Let me test this, make sure they're not too hot. Oh, Alright, now I'm on the second kind. What was the first one called? De Liz? Yeah, De Liz. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe not more. Oops. See all the bumblebees? All the bees, I mean? That'll be good for these. I think it's on. Looks good. our base and that blue line is the water line then we had self wicking oh there's the other thing and then we had the hydroponics cone and a peat pot peat pot and it worked pretty good the only one thing that didn't seem to work real well is the um heirloom lettuce i don't know if that's a good idea to start it in here or not so we'll find out because we planted a couple and then we also put in two spots in the tower for fresh seeds. We'll see which is better. Live and learn, right? It's the only way this will work. 